Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and today we are going to learn about how to export data from Tableau dashboard especially when the data is in a table format with a scroll bar and we need to export the entire table in order to get it printed on a paper. So how we can do that? So let's get started. I have already created a Tableau dashboard on Tableau server. Uh, in this case I am using Tableau public and as you can see, I have created a table from Sample Superstore Data Set, which talks about all the categories, manufacturer, product name, customer name, segment, ship mode, and their sales. And it has a long scroll bar, if you see here, and we can scroll it down. As you can see, it's going down, giving us all the information. And I want to get the entire set of data, all the rows which are spread across multiple pages and I want to print it all of them in a paper. It's quite simple and easy to do that. So for this we will go at the top of the dashboard where you can see the download button. You can go here or you can scroll down and you can see at the bottom here you will see a download button. Just press that and a pop-up window will appear. In this case you can download the dashboard in multiple ways in form of image, cross tab, PDF, PowerPoint, or Tableau workbook. In this particular scenario, we need to download it in a PDF format which we can print it later. So we will simply select PDF and you will see a pop-up will appear like this. It will say download PDF and it says include this view. If we just select this view and click download, it will bring us a snapshot of this particular view without the scroll bar. So basically it will only print it out what you can see it here, like from the top to this number, whatever snapshot you can see currently, it will only print that one. But we don't want that. We want all the pages to be printed. So we will simply go in this section under include and say, select the specific sheets from this dashboard and in this case, we only have sheet one, so we will select that. And you can choose any paper size. In this case, I will, I will use A3, and I will keep the orientation and as portrait. So once I click download, it will start downloading, and it will give us something like this, which I have already downloaded. It will give us 141 pages, as you can see in here and it will give you all the data in this format and you can basically print it out. So in this case, we got the data in 141 pages basically. But if we select just the simple uh, view, the existing view, it will show the data something like this, which I mentioned before. It will just give you the snapshot of the view which we are currently seeing. So it's it's really easy way to do it. And if you want to uh, do the snapshot in a different form, like if you want to download it in an image, you can do the same step and it will give you the snapshot of what you can currently see. So if I cancel this and I will go to download tab again, so I will just cross, close it, close this window and I will go again onto the download tab. And once this process is canceled, I will, I will do that. Not sure why it is taking too long. But once again, once I select the download button from here, you will see image cross tab. So if you do the image, you will see exactly the same snapshot what you are currently seeing. And in terms of cross tab, you can download the data in cross tab and it will, once you click on that, it will download it in an Excel format, which I have already downloaded and I will show you how it will look like. So. I have already downloaded the spreadsheet and once I downloaded it in cross tab, it will look something like this where all the data is spread across multiple columns. You can see all these columns are there and it will give you all the data at the end, till the end. And you can actually print out this Excel format as well the way you want it, similar to the one which we downloaded in the PDF format. I hope this session was quite useful for you guys and if you have any questions please feel free to drop me a message and we'll try to answer any queries you have. Thank you. See you next time.